Okay, so this is new cell design. It's once again fused through the bottom and sealed. And bottom is poured in. I got quite a big elephant food formed when I was doing this. Uh, lesson learned, I guess. I do not preheat the profile too much. But anyway, it seals at least water. We will see when we pour hydroxide in what, what will happen. And this is separator. It is a little bit more complicated than normally what I do. But here is basically it's a square profile with a aluminium foil insert that has channel formed. Not quite, not a big channel. It's but there is channel formed that will form like a tube basically that will eject sodium from there, hopefully at least. Then uh, this is shoot, it is very sharp because the idea is that you want to falling sodium to have uh, less and less stiction to it basically as, as it moves down. The insert is threaded through this uh, through the separator, as you can see here maybe it's threaded all the way down and then it is secured down here basically it's kinda hard to see because it's kinda badly secured then some holes drilled through these holes are just for this aluminium foil to not fall out basically and yeah this thing I have Second. Well, I don't have a piece anymore, but it was basically a A-shaped like profile, kind of like a roof. And you basically bent it, and then you will insert this into this into this square profile. Yeah, kind of like so. Only only this this front section is obviously completely wrong, right? But yeah, it fits there nicely, but I sealed it anyway, because why not? Now this piece is just kinda like for securing this piece to not fall down, because it's basically just inserted there, then this is pushed down and it also seals the... it also seals the part. You cannot really see it from here. This edge is cut sharp and also, not sure if you can see here, this edge is also cut sharp. That was mainly to have as sharp radius as possible. When, like I bent this. And then it goes together like, like so. Now this thing is not great because it is quite high, so there will, be, there will have to be quite a lot of sodium formed. Yeah, so... I guess let's fill this and let's test. I think I have a problem. My power supply is not working. Ah, here is a bunch of water. Let's test this. Should I turn it to millivolts so I can see something? Okay. So I think this will be pretty good. This is actually much taller cell than last time. And that may cause some problems or well issues, let's say. And mainly that may happen that sodium on the bottom will solidify but let's concern about that later also what I don't like already about this thing is that is that I cannot remove this top I don't like that really I don't like that
Oh no! Okay, this was unexpected. Okay. Fuck. But do you know what? I have seen this already. Oh no. Fuck. Okay. So I will need to move this by hand for now. Come on. This is that. I mean, it's not end of the world, but like, meh, it's not great. But guess what? It works. It's working. Okay, that's not bad. This looks pretty fine as well, as you can see. There's a bunch of sodium there, somehow. Huh, doesn't want to go off. Now oh, this is quite interesting, look at this pitting. This piece was anodized, by the way. Right, so this is about the best I can do, I think. Not so great, really. Okay. Attempt number two. Kinda, sorta. Fuck this. Temperature is just too low. So maybe it is actually quite good that the volume of sodium stored actually is quite high and the level is quite low because as you can see maybe this thing there there was constantly even now you can see some liquid flowing from there and that is not great right and because I'm losing some electrolyte unnecessarily. Now there must be quite a lot of sodium there obviously and as you can see the uh, the level of the uh, hydroxide is jumping up and down and this is because it is blocking hydrogen that is collected under sodium and it is pushing it up and therefore displacing some of this uh, electrolyte here and since there is quite a lot of sodium and a lot of hydrogen must be trapped and a lot of sodium must be displaced. It kinda generates much stronger force when it spills the sodium uh, blob out. Fuck. Why? Man. Fuck. Okay. So this is about maximum maximal amount of sodium that I can make at once.
Okay. Huh. There still is the insert. I was losing some sodium from this hole. I don't quite understand how, but have a look at this thing. The anodization is quite intact, so perhaps anodized aluminium is like way to go. The inside of this Now where was the now where the aluminium foil was now is some black stuff. Perhaps the foil was attacked by sodium. Very interesting. But here I plucked some holes with aluminium foil and this seems to be intact still. Okay, so this blob was from last time, it was about 13 grams and this is from... well actually I've got some... Mm, fuck... there was few pieces there from like yesterday or whenever so I won't be able to tell exactly how much have I made today mm, anyway No oh boy. Okay, this is absolute shitload of sodium and oh fuck, it would be best if I actually put it on heat its area. Anyway, I think I will have I will have to get bigger container for storage because it's it's a lot. I dropped in a few milliliters of isopropanol and then sodium will nicely coalesce into one big ball. Now this is really the worst idea that you can do, but I'm going to cool it with water in a plate because holy, it's hot. And I'm going away in case. The piece is quite solidified, it's still quite hot, but actually it's smoking the hot. And 20 grams, not bad. That's not that much as I thought it would be. Yeah. Bloop. So since there were some pieces already, let's be conservative and say that I've made 15 grams. I will have to calculate how much time that took me and I will I will print it somewhere on screen. Yeah, so this went pretty great apart from this big mess. I think what's to improve? Well, sure, separator, design and construction, then I guess volume of the cell because I had to hit it this time even at 30 amps it wasn't enough power to keep it molten. I guess this goes with the separator itself. It would be best if I could like pass some tube, basically some U-shaped tube and have a electrode there. That way I don't have to drill to the base of this cell and that way I don't have to worry about it leaking. Yeah, maybe maybe improve this shoot a little bit. I think I think uh, I'm not sure. Maybe some zigzag shape would work and make it a little bit shorter. Even though it's it's pretty short as it is now. Yeah. So really, that's about it. Um, bye.